Hey, Wooddale Junior High family, welcome to episode number three of our new Way to Church. I'm Heather, it's good to see you. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you because of this whole separation thing, it's killing me. Do you know that I'm on day two of not hugging anyone? anyone it's been so hard i'm using hand sanitizer i do not like the smell of hand sanitizer but we got to do it right guys for the betterment of the rest of our nation for vulnerable people we've got to do it so i've been working hard and i encourage you to do the same my guess is that when you hear restrictions or when your parents are trying to put something in place telling you you can't hang out with friends or go a certain place that it's hard but it's our time to be unselfish and it's not forever. It's just for a shorter period of time, but let's do it, okay? If I'm not hugging, you can do it. <laughs> Anyway, we're so excited to be sharing with you because it's Wednesday, which means clearly we need to give you a little word from the Lord. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And by the way, um, feel free to share this with other people. You know how we always encourage you to invite friends to Wednesday night, you know, so that they get a slushy and you get a slushy. Do the same thing here. Send it to them via DM, share the link with them, but let them be encouraged too, because we're hoping that if nothing else, this brings a smile to your face and a little warmth to your heart. Okay, so one of the things I know is a reality during this time is the strong emotions that we feel. There's a lot of loss going on. I don't think I'm dramatic when I say that we're literally grieving activities that we've lost and places that we can't go anymore. I know for some of you, the loss of the rest of your basketball season has been so tough. I know there are some of you who love going to school and the challenge of it, and you're already missing that structure. Some of you are just going crazy at home because you're so extroverted, you don't even know what to do. I want you to know that those emotions that you're feeling are totally legit. They're natural and they are oh, Okay. God created us to have emotions like that. And it's good that you have them. But my big question today is, what are you doing with those feelings? Are you working through them or are you just kind of sitting in them? I look to our friend David in the Old Testament. David, if you remember, was a king, he was a musician, he was a warrior, he was a shepherd, he was also a man after God's own heart, but he was very emotional. And in Psalm 69, we see that emotion from him. Psalm 69, David is talking directly to God and listen to what he says. He says, save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the miry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters, the floods engulf me. I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail looking for my God. Those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs of my head and many are my enemies without cause, those who seek to destroy me. I am forced to restore what I did not steal. I mean, David is kind of emotionally vomiting on God. And you know what? God can handle it. And he can handle your emotions and he can handle my emotions as well. Are you finding spaces and trusted people to share your frustration with? Do it, it's essential. But be sure you're communicating to God as well. He can handle it, but don't stay there long all right david by the end of this psalm in verse 30 turns it around so he acknowledges the emotion and then listen to what he says i will praise god's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving so he's honest about how he's feeling but he doesn't stay there long students ben and i are with you we're so sad that so many things have gotten canceled. Do you know that last night I got a text that my perm has been canceled for next week? <laughs> All the salons have been shut down. You know how important my every four month perm is. Do you think I'm upset? Absolutely. 
but should I stay there in that frustration? Nope. I give myself some space to be upset, but then I draw myself back to say, there's something that's greater than this, and God is in control. So that's our challenge for you during this time. Be honest and real about your emotions, but don't, don't stay in those negative emotions long. Realign yourself, redirect yourself to God and understand that he's in control and he's not going to waste this. So don't you waste this. Thanks everyone. We're hoping that you are wanting more connection and more teaching and we're excited to tell you that that's coming. This coming weekend, Dale and Kyle are gonna announce a new way for you to stay connected with each other and with God. So look forward to it and look forward to episode number four. Woo!